Hi guys, how are you? Welcome. As you come in, please say hello. Let me know you are there so that I can say hi to you. Um, if you are watching this on a replay, if you don't mind, please type replay at the bottom so that I know that you watched it. Uh, let me just get um, my paste. I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out what colors I wanted to use tonight. Um, because I'm going to be decorating these empty, boring bags that we all have around the house and that we need, but they're not cute enough to use sometimes as a gift bag. So I have a transfer. It says, happy birthday. And then I have another one that says, happy birthday. It's a cupcake. So... I wanted to use these two because we're always looking for a birthday bag, like real quick, you know, it, and these two can go for anybody, you know, um, a teen, an adult, anybody, um, a little one, the little one doesn't care, you know, but you know, if you want to go buy, you know, a six, $7 bag. You know, go ahead, but I'm trying to give you a little solution for these because I'm, I always find myself in that bind. I'm always looking for a bag last minute. I'm, I just don't like shopping for bags and I don't like spending a lot of money for them. So let me show you what I've got going on down here. Let me see. Let me put that there. And... <clears throat> There we go. Awesome. So I have my transfers. And let me get them out of here. Oh, let me, you know what? Let me see if I'm live on the right page, first of all. Where am I? Oh, there I am. All right. So let's get these transfers out of here. I love them. They are so cute, aren't they? And then the other one is the birthday cake. All right, so this is the first bag that I'm going to work with. So you can use these transfers. You can use them on cardstock, on, um, on anything that you want, okay? All you have to do is make sure that you fuzz them. Okay, that is the key. Okay, so you have your transfer. And of course, everywhere you see the emptiness, you have a silk screen in there. Okay, and that is what helps you apply the paste on all the projects. There we go. It's a little bit better. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just fuzzing it. I'm fuzzing my transfers so that it doesn't completely stick to my bag and ruin my bag once I lift it. So I'm going to be um, fuzzing this several times. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Nicole. Um, hi, Dad. How are you? All right, guys. So I fuzzed it a couple of times. You want a pink cupcake, Miss Peggy? All right, we're gonna do the pink cupcake. All right, so I think I have fuzzed it enough. So guys, this bag, um, I purchased something at a little boutique and I just kept the bag because I knew I would need it for something. I'm always in search of a bag. So I said, okay, I'm just gonna keep it, uh, I'm sure. At some point, I will need it. So what I am going to do, I'm just going to apply my transfer right here. Just going to gently push down on here. And then I've got a couple of options, uh, but because of the color of the bag, I want it a bright color. And then I also want it a, um, a pink. I think this might be... Um, this is a raspberry color. So I wanted to mix it in. You know how I am. I'd like to just blend all those colors together and come up with something fabulous. 
it is a birthday, so you want to just throw in those colors, okay? So here we go. I am going to get two squeegees. I am also going to stir my paste, okay? And I want to do it away from my project because I don't want it to accidentally splash into the project, okay? This is a little dry and I need to add a little bit of water. Remember that the paste needs to uh, be uh, yogurt, like a yogurt, have a yogurt consistency. Goodness, I cannot talk today. All right, so this is really good right here. Maybe just a smidge more. Okay, the paste is water-based, so um, you are able to add water to it. If you add a little bit too much water, it's okay. Just leave the lid off for a little bit and let it dry and then mix. Let it dry a little bit more just until you get it to where you need it. Okay. And let's do the yellow. Um, also, if you want to work on a project, remember that I do sell the packets. So you don't need to buy a full jar. You can, let me see if I have my packets right here. Goodness, I thought I had my packets right here. Yes, I do. You can purchase these little packets right here. Oops, well, let me do it right here. Okay, so you don't have to purchase the full jar if you don't want a full jar. I've got little packets and I've got them in multiple colors. Alrighty, so just let me know. Also, anything that I do make, it is for sale if you would like it. Um, please message me at any time. Um, let's see, I think this is good. All right, so we're gonna take that out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put my paste, you know, around just random on my bag. And then I'm gonna get my squeegee, okay? And then I'm just gonna wipe it down, wipe it across. And then because it is a mixed color, I can throw it away or I can put it in a little jar um, that you can buy like at Michael's and it holds a little bit of amount. And you're welcome to keep it in there for another use. Who knows, you can make another, mix it with another color. All right, so let me just randomly put a little bit of paste around here and some with this color and then that's it guys that's all you have to do and then you go in here and then you just mix your colors and you're gonna get a really cool look okay and don't mix it too much um, just to the to the amount that you want. I already have a towel right here. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe this squeegee off, and then I'm gonna come over here and pick up the excess. All right. And then we're gonna have a cute bag ready to give away. Okay, just pick it up slowly. All right. So there you go, guys. How cute is that? And it's fast. It's something that you can just do right away. You don't need to go and buy a very expensive bag, especially when you're in a crunch. Um, you know, you can just get out your paste, put your transfer and, you know, put some paste on there and you're done. Isn't that cute? All right, so now let's work on this one. So this one is going to be the cupcake. And where did my transfer go?
<laughs> Guys, where did I what did I do with my transfer? Oh, there it is. Okay, here it is. Hi Anita, how are you? Guys, as you come on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching me from. I'm always curious. I know that um I've had some I have some Canadians that get on and watch because guys we are launching um, May 5th, officially May 5th in Canada. I am excited. I'm excited to start um, welcoming the, uh, the my soon-to-be designers. I'm so excited. Guys, I did forget to do something here because I've been chit-chatting with you. But I need to cut this. I need these are... Um, let me put this back here. This, I need to separate these so that I can use them properly. So, um, there we go. All right, and we have some uh, stars and whatnot, and there's a little heart, little stars, and then just little random dots. I'm, I'm not gonna use those. All right, so let's go back to the fuzzing. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. And I am going to do a silver bottom to this because Peggy wanted to see a pink cake, a birthday cake, so I'm gonna do a silver bottom to it. So that's really cute right there. Let me get um, another, let me close this up guys. I, I'll just be honest, I'm like super clumsy and I know I'm gonna stick my finger in there or something will happen. I, I just know myself. Okay, let me get that and Peggy want it pink. All right, so we're gonna do the pink and we're gonna do a gray. Let me see if I don't have um, well, I have this other pink. I think I like the darker pink better. So, um, I don't know, Peggy, what do you think about the top one? The top pink one is a little bit darker than this one. Is this the one that you want me to use? Let me know. All right, so while Peggy is thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and just work with uh, the bottom of the cake. I love this, guys. Love, love, love this. Now we had, um, we have the ink, and uh, in the shimmer silver, but we haven't had it in in a paste. So when these pastes came out, I was super excited, and I'm still super excited because you know who doesn't want a little shimmer? All right, so I'm just going to apply my paste. Put the excess back into the jar okay and then I'm just gonna pick up my transfer and that's it that is all you have to do guys okay so I'm just gonna close this back up so yes on the darker pink okay and because I'm going to put a layer, I am going to get my heat gun out because I need to dry it. If I put another layer on top of it, it is um, not gonna go well and it is going to lift my paste and you don't wanna do that, okay? So it shouldn't take very long. It dries pretty quickly. So I'm just using this heat gun right here, oops, to dry. All right. I don't think I did a very good job at centering this. <laughs> 
Okay, so it's got a little shimmer to it, which I love. There you go. That's the shimmer. Quite cute. All right, so that was a cute, cute, cute color. So I'm big on fuzzing, so just one more try. Also, um, if you will notice... There is a shape to this. You see it, how it goes? That corresponds with the shape of your cake right here. So just line it up and that's all you have to do. Line it up. And I'm pressing down, not too hard. I just, you know, wanted to make sure that it is touching, that everything is down and it's touching the bag. I don't want my paste to go underneath the, the, um, the transfer, okay? Again, um, you're just gonna make sure that you um, check on the consistency of it. It is a little dry, so, um, guys, it's just a little dry and all you have to do is just put a little bit of water in it and voila, you're done. You get that consistency that you want. And also, I want to let you know that I've had this color since last year and look how long it's lasted me. And I don't use it very often, but it has lasted me a good while. So since last year is not bad at all. All right, so all I'm gonna do now is just grab some paste Apply and then remove. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just pick up my transfer and done. How cute is that? I wish you could see the true color of it. It looks so cute. Just dry. guys so we have transformed these bags into birthday bags of course you can just keep on decorating you can put maybe some more cupcakes you can do a lot more or what you can do is you can even take sections of this transfer and just um, do like the corner do right here like the corner oops what am I doing Get the transfer, pretend this is the transfer, but use this part for the corners and just do those designs on here. So you can kind of mix and match, do whatever you want, but this is just to give you an idea of how you can transform uh, bags that you, you know, blank bags that you already have. You know, this should cover like a really quick gift that you want to give somebody. You know, it's just pretty awesome. Um, that we can use our transfers, whether it be on clothing, if you wanna make um, like your grandbaby, your little girl, your little boy, you know, if you have kids, if you want to make them a t-shirt, you can make them a t-shirt with this. It says happy birthday or a birthday cake. You know, you wanna do it for like a baby, you wanna put it on a onesie, you know, you can do a little birthday cake. These are small enough to go on onesies, all of these, okay? So just. Think outside the box. There's so much that you can do with these. You can even, um, like on your mirror, you know, if you want to tell somebody happy birthday and you just want to kind of give them that little surprise in the morning, you can do, you can put the transfer on the mirror and do like this happy birthday stuff on the mirror and they see it there in the morning. And so they get a nice little surprise. So how cute is that? 
Um, so just think about the possibilities. I mean, these aren't just to put on a chalkboard or on, you know, just some random stuff. You can do so much with these. If you want more information, please get with me, message me, let me know um, what questions you have. I'm always willing to answer them. And um, let me see, is there anything that I didn't answer on here? Hi, Kayla. I hope I said your name right. Anita, how are you? Um, all right, guys. So that is it for tonight. Um, I will try to come on on Saturday morning to do a quick live. If not, I will do one uh, Saturday evening. Um, let me see. Let me try to get back on here. I usually have a hard time getting, getting back onto the screen. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see y'all later. Y'all have a great evening. Thank you so much for joining me and please share this video. 